Holly, hello! I'm Marie Fashionista Sherry, and welcome to another terrific tutorial in my 12 Days of Thrift Moss. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I sing it sometimes. I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. This is a lot of tutorials to do all in a row again, <laughs> just like my 30 Days of Refashions. Anyway, <laughs> so I was going through my stash and I found this sweater and I thought, oh, that would be so cool as a sweater dress. And so I was thinking to do some kind of variation of the patchwork sweater dress that I did before, but only using one sweater and seeing how far I can, I can get, how long I can make it. But then I noticed <gasps> stain, tragedy stain here and I tried for the past couple of days to get it out and nothing will work. So instead, boing, I had an idea to, um, let's transform this, this big oversized sweater into a pair of swans. Do you remember those? Like, I guess it's from 2013 now? Yeah, like a decade ago. They were super popular. They were everywhere sweater pants. So yeah, let's see if we can go <laughs> make this into a pair of sweater pants. For this comfy, cozy project, you'll need an oversized sweater plus a pair of comfortable sweatpants or lounge pants to use as a template, and of course your sewing gear. So here is a quick tip <laughs> when you are choosing your sweater. Feel free to pop it on upside down so you want to put your legs through the arms and you know pull it all up and make sure that the arms are not too tight on your legs and that it's going to come up enough that you'll be able to use the bottom of the sweater for your waistband. So you want to be able to fold that down to create the waistband casing and then you know have enough space to put an elastic waist in there <laughs> and you know you can always do a hilarious little dance. Okay, so you can see I now have my sweater inside out and evenly folded in half. Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna try to be a little bit sneaky and maybe do this an easier way than I originally planned. Um, if this first way doesn't work though, there will be more than enough fabric left over to, <laughs> to do it properly or to do it, I guess, the, the more straightforward way. But as you can see, I have flipped my sweatpants inside out and folded them in half. And I now have have the waistband of the sweatpants sort of lined up with the bottom of the sweater. And then I have the crotch of the area lined up with the fold of the sweater and moving right along. Clearly, we're gonna have to get rid of the neckline of the sweater here. And so I thought, hey, I wonder if I can just fold those sweatpant legs <laughs> and, you know, make them kind of come down here on the sleeves because the sleeves are going to become the legs. So what I'm going to try first is cutting here, here, and then the crotch area. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see if we can then sew it together. <laughs> okay, I chopped it all out and now I'm going to open it up and uh, see what we got. <laughs> Okay, so I tried it on and yeah, no, this is not gonna work. Um, so my clever refashionista cutting corners idea is not, is not clever at all. So now I'm going to simply chop it here and do first the top part of the pants and then I'm gonna add the sleeves on for the bottom of the legs. Okay, so it's now actually starting to look like the top of a pair of pants. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> first I'm just going to stitch this side closed and then stitch this side closed. And I'm totally going to leave this part at the top open for now. Alrighty, so I have stitched this bottom part together on both of these pieces. Then when you flip the pieces around, you see here, there is the stitching there. And I have this kind of deep V at the top. And that is actually the gusset or crotch area of the pants. So now we got to work on this area. Okay, so as you can see, I now have one right side out and one inside out. And that's because 
we are now going to put the right side out piece into the inside out piece and we're going to line up those V's. Okay, once you have everything evenly lined up, then you just need to go and stitch the V's together. You're just stitching this V area here. Okay, so my V's are all nicely stitched together. And just as an FYI for you guys, I did a straight stitch all the way around. Then I did a tight wide zigzag stitch over top of my straight stitch. And then I chopped off any excess with my pinking shears in an effort to help prevent fraying. Okay, now let's pull this out and see if we have something that looks like shorts pants <gasps> and we do look at that that actually worked that did <laughs> it really worked okay i'm gonna go try these on and uh, then we'll see about attaching the sleeves to the bottom of the shorts legs Okay, so I flipped them right side out and tried them on and they fit really, really perfectly. Um, there's just one slight problem <laughs> and uh, it's kind of a hilarious problem. So this should have been the back, but I think it has to be the front because um, on the front, uh, I had forgotten it had this kind of little design here and this is not a great design to have right right in the front in you know a certain area of my body so i think <laughs> i think it's better to have it in the back <laughs> so that's how i'm gonna wear them uh but but yeah it, it's it's funny um it actually kind of looks like a smiling devil so i don't know maybe having it in the front is a better idea you let me know down below so like you see this is pretty awesome even the waistband is really really good and i don't think i'm actually going to put an elastic in i think i'm just gonna have to take in the sides just about a centimeter or two on either side and then the waistband should be totally fine now what i was concerned about is this part here you see it looks like a giant shark bite came out and I was thinking oh I'm gonna have to add some kind of fabric here because that's where the sleeves were chopped off but I put the sleeves on and when I pull them up and tuck this in here okay you see it's okay I actually do not have to um, add any extra fabric I can just chop on this line here this wonderful perfect line and they should match up wonderfully so that's what I'm going to do because I mean how cool is it and I can get these right on my knees I'm so happy with how this is coming out so like I said first I'm just going to chop this here to even up each of the legs now I'm going to do the same thing on the sleeves okay so I have my sweater shorts right side out and I have a sleeve here and it is inside out now I'm going to pop the sleeve over top of one leg of the sweater shorts making sure that I have this design facing the front because I want it in the front okay this is going to be a little bit picky because the sleeve is clearly clearly a bit um smaller than than my shorts leg here and once we get to the bottom part I'm just going to line up the edges as best as I can and now clearly I'm definitely going to use a zigzag to stitch this and I'm going to have to stretch the sweater sleeve as I'm stitching so it all lines up properly so I have the other sleeve stitched on as well. So let's flip it down and it absolutely worked. I am shocked that I managed to do this. Now this is a little bit wavy here. So I think I will have to give it a wash. So the knit fibers kind of reconstrict up onto themselves, but it looks great. I took in the waistband four centimeters on each side. So let's go try them on and style them up. I made sweater pants and the first try didn't work, but the second try was awesome. <laughs> 
do let me know if you are going to try to make a pair of these. They are so super comfortable, but I do think I have to take the waist in a little bit more, or maybe I'll end up adding some elastic. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is nearly the end of the 12 days of thriftmas. So, um, until tomorrow, which is the last one, stay safe, <laughs> stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. I love these pants. They're so comfortable, but you can't really see them. They go. <laughs> this is Confessions of a Refashionista.